thing will only be provided to everybody who's commented in the question box. There's that, what I was gonna tell you about the goodie that's coming. So if you want a copy of today's recording, you do have to comment in the question box. You do not have to put your email address because it will pick up the email address that you registered with, but you do need to make a comment there. So, hey, hello, shout out to the Google partner that you wanted, that, that invited you or where you're at and giving props to your community is okay to comment. It still will get you a copy of today's recording. And a little bit later, I'll tell you what you need to do to get a copy of today's slides, okay? Because you can get, both, but there are two different actions at two different times in the actual webinar here that you'll need to do that. Now, do know that the recording will come in 24 hours, so it will not be immediately. Do not feel rejected or neglected if I don't, if you don't get it this evening, because it does take 24 hours for the system to render it. Okay. All right. This is who I am. I come with a small business background, and you all, y'all, we're talking about selling online with e-commerce, right? So this is my this is my sweet spot. This is my wheelhouse because in the last 12 years, so 20 plus years, I've run a small business. I grew it from the ground up in a business incubator, but I've also been involved in digital marketing. But for the last 12 years, I've been heavily immersed in international e-commerce. So not only are you going to get what's in the slides today, but you'll get everything that's up here that I've learned that's taken me 12 years to learn. And you don't have to put the time, energy, the sweat, and the tears to do this. You're going to learn from that. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. This is who I am. And then, of course, today, we're going to be talking about how you can sell online with e-commerce tools. Remember, if you've just tumbled into the room, this is how you find the closed captioning. And exactly if you're tweeting or posting, this is who you can tag. That's me on Twitter. This is me on Instagram. Or you can also use the hashtag grow with Google because the Google team likes to watch that hashtag to see if you want them to make more things like this and do more boot camps. And hopefully you do. You love it so much and you can see the results in your business so much. Okay. So let me see. I do see you. I do see you. Alita, welcome. I see Lori here as well from um, Lori. You are in Oklahoma City. And Robert, let's see. Robert did from, from Tuesdays go out. Yes, it did go out. So Tuesdays went out. But remember, Robert, you have to email me that because if you ask here in the question box, as soon as the system, as soon as we finish, I don't see a copy of the question box. So I won't remember that an hour from now or whenever I finish. I, I guarantee I won't remember your question. So make sure you email me, okay? Or get with your Google partner because they will also let me know. Hello, Christy. Welcome. Hello, Carla from Minneapolis. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and get started. The recording's going, and I'll let you know, know in a little bit when you can get a copy of today's slides, too, and how you can get that, all right? So let's talk about how and why we sell online. How many of you are selling online currently? Let me know with a show of why, meaning yes, that you are selling online right now. I'd love to know. And how you can actually showcase your products with a business profile. That we talked about actually in session one, which was get your local business on Google search and maps. So that was session one of boot camp. But I will touch on that now, especially since there are several new people here in the room. But I won't spend so long in it because we really did do a deep dive before. But if you've got questions, remember what I said at the end, I will stay as long as you need me to to answer any of your questions. OK, we'll also talk about how you can showcase products with Google Merchant Center and how you can sell online with Shopify. Now that so, you know, is a content management system. They are partners with Google, but just so you know, what I'm going to be teaching you today applies to many of the other content management systems like Shopify, Squarespace, Wix, okay? So those are all content management systems, but they are already built out to be stores. So you can use a lot of what I'm sharing today and apply it to any CMS, any content management service platform. And then of course, I always end with free or small fee services, but mostly free because I'm all about that. I'm a bootstrap marketer. In fact, everything today I'm talking about is free. So let's dive in, but let me make sure first. All right, getting started. Yes, Christopher, you will. You'll get a copy of today's recording just because you've commented here. So you're all good. And then to get the slides, I'll tell you in just a bit. So I see that there are several, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of you that do have and you're selling online, I'd love to hear what you're using to sell online. What's your content management system? Are you doing it on your actual website? Are you in a Facebook or Instagram shop or do you have Shopify, Etsy? Well, I can go into Etsy and lose a lot of time there. I love to support Etsy creators. So we've got Etsy, some Shopify, Squarespace. I know that space real well too, Jalinda. Perfect. Anybody else want to share the content management system that they're working with right now? Because I might be able to customize some of what I'm talking about or share with you some best tips 
or some precautions in working with the tool that you're using. Square, absolutely. Shopify, Etsy. Adobe Experience. Oh, wow. Okay, neat. All right. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate you letting me know. So why sell online? Well, we know, you know, that it in March 2020, the whole world changed. And when that happened, everybody went instantly online. And that's not going away. Even if we want to know what is down the road, less than a half a mile from us, we will look online to see if they have the product, if they deliver, or even if they have it in inventory. So we go online first. And that's not going to change because you see this in here, and that's even trending upwards. 74% of us go here first when we want to know, go, do, or buy, and we do everything on a mobile device. But we also need to know that people love to not just shop online, but they'll do local pickup too. So they can do both. They just want to be able to have the options and you want to give them every opportunity to make it easy to buy from you. Now, even though I'm using the word buy and everything I'm talking about today is going to be specifically product based, there are still some service based aspects because your service may be a product. Just think if you have a software, if you have a coaching service, if you do training, think of anything like that you can actually showcase within a store. So you can do service based, even like plumbing services, HVAC, heating and air conditioning services, utilize these different content management systems to help market their business and sell maintenance packages. You can do that as well or different items that they need that, that maybe keep it clean and fresh fresh smelling cleaners that they have so they may be doing the consumables and they actually do the service install but they keep this as a way to stay in communication and contact with those best customers so we know people are utilizing that online shopping and that isn't going away no matter what tool that they're using now i don't know if you're aware that google provides all of this for free, except for the shopping ads. That's the only thing where there is some payment involved, but you can control a lot of that budget. And I'll show you a little bit about how to do that, but mostly I'm gonna focus on the free tools. But there's the Google Business Profile, which we talked about at the first session of Bootcamp. We also have Google Shopping Tab. That's 100% free. We have Google Lens. How many of you are using Google Lens? With well, a show of one in the question box, let me know if you use Google Lens. Let's see, please send me. Oh yeah, absolutely, John, you definitely will. And I'll let you know how you can get a copy of today's slides in a moment. All right, but how many of you are using Google Lens? All right, let me know if you're using Google Lens, Google Images, and then of course, Google Search. Now, some of us know Google Search. Some of us know Google Images exists, but we don't know how to get on there. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Only a handful usually know about Google Lens. So I don't see anybody saying, that they use Google Lens. In fact, I see a lot of people saying they never heard of it. Oh, I'm going to teach you something that you're going to just love today that'll help you be very competitive and put you head and shoulders above your competitors. Okay, so let's talk about this. First, we'll talk about your business profile. All right, so I know some of you, we went and took a deep dive in session one, but now we're going to really talk about how this did this connects with your online store and for those of you who are new this is really going to be something that blows you away and you're probably going to need an in-depth class as I said the in-depth session is get your local business on Google search and maps for those of you oh so because actually you have used Google Lens all right I'd love to hear how you use it just let me know in the question box for those of you who want a copy of today's slides just put the number seven so number seven so lucky number seven in the question box and you'll also get a copy of today's slides at the same 24 hour point when you get a copy of the recording all right so the business profile is a great place for you to showcase your product look at what it looks like here showing in front of you in the right hand side of the screen it really has a nice prominent visual branding and that right hand side of a desktop laptop so it takes a lot of space which is what you want because back in the day we used to talk about with realtors or real estate and with retail shops we used to talk about the importance of location 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 well it still is important but online digital location your virtual space your virtual property and assets all make a difference and being able to show this good visual branding and have so much visual real estate to be able to command that eyeball is really great and that's what the business profile is great at and you can create a product catalog in your google business profile now that used to be known as google my business gmb or google listing but in january 2022 it became google business profile so you can create a catalog there or also create product post and you can create product posts so you don't have to just do the catalog you can do both and I highly encourage you to do that because this is a wonderful free tool confirming all of your business information and making sure it's correct across search and maps and it's filled with Google juice which is search engine optimization juice 
which is what you want because if the search engine can't see you it cannot deliver you to people who or deliver you in the first page of results to people who might need your product service or solution so to use any of this you do need your free google account now if you've got a gmail account you're golden all you need to do is log into your gmail account and i'll show you where you can access all of that in just a moment if you don't have a gmail account not to worry you don't have to have one all you need to go is to this url at the bottom left hand corner and you're going to put your email address in it doesn't change it to gmail you'll create a password and like any other password protected site online you'll use your email address and your password to access all the free google tools all right so when you have your Google business profile already claimed and verified, so you do have to verify that you're the owner. Now you can go in and add your products and you can create the category. You can even put a price range. I highly encourage you to do this because let's say that I'm at a shower, a wedding shower or a baby shower and I see a really, really cute item that I would like to get for a friend of mine. Well, I don't know what the price point is and I'm trying to decide and look at all your competitors. So the more information that you can give me to help me make decisions to see if this is in my budget range, range for a gift, then that will even help me look to you even further. Because if you can help me with any information that I need, I'm going to see you as a trusted advisor and people will step over dollars to do business with people and businesses that they know, like, and trust. You can also add a description. <clears throat> and I encourage you, <clears throat> excuse me, I encourage you to add a description because remember what I said about the three pieces of Google's algorithm. The three pillars are relevance, distance, and prominence. Relevance being the heaviest weight, which means how well do you match what somebody is searching for online? The more description you can put towards your product, the better you can match, the more opportunity that you show up on the first page of an organic Google search. And do know that people do not search past the first page. Every Google search page comes with 10 organic search results. And if you don't show up there, you don't exist, you're out of business, you're not good at what you do. You need to at least show up there to be considered. And then if you can dominate that, all 10 search results are about you. You truly have positioned yourself as an expert in your field or having the best product. So add that description, add a button. A call to action is very important. Understand we're all busy. In any given day, we get 12,600 messages and we are overwhelmed. Maybe we may be interested in your product and want to buy. And all of a sudden now we get a text message that our son needs us to go deliver something to him or he forgot his lunch, whatever it is, you're getting a message now and you're totally in another universe, but you really meant to buy. So if we put calls to action, this really helps them be able to connect the dots between what you have and what they want or what they need. And then also now you can click save once you get all that in place and really build out that Google business profile. It's a powerful free tool that's right there for you. And this is what it looks like when it does appear in your product catalog, plus it can show up in your post and what's new. Remember from our first session that what's new in Google business profile only is actively visible in the algorithm for five business days, that or five days, not just business days, five days. So you have to be posting at least every five days to keep on top of that algorithm. Now you'll be able to see that in search and in maps. <clears throat> Let me see if there's any questions here. I use Google Lens to research antique items. Who made the item now? How much they're selling for? Oh, see, Cynthia, you already use Google Lens. So let me show you some other uses of Google Lens as we go through, because everybody else in the room has not used Google Lens. So where you can showcase your product. The first product I just showed you was Google Business Profile. Another place is in Google Merchant Center. Do not believe the myths that Google Merchant Center is just for shopping ads. It's just not paid specific, not paid ads. There's a lot of free aspects to Google Merchant Center. Let me show you what that is, because this will showcase your products and services on Google in that first page of search. Remember what I said about the true importance of that. You are not going to be found if you're on the second page of search. So let me show you what can actually appear and where it appears in Google search when you have a Google Merchant Center account connected to wherever your content management system, okay? So it'll show up in search results, general search results. You see the all right here, that's everything. So you see it showing up here. These are Google shopping ads. Now that is a paid position, but the rest is not, but it gives you a nice visual. But other than just that, so that's the paid part, but I'm gonna show you the free part. Understand Google has a shopping tab, so you usually by default land in the all, all the results. 
but a lot of people like to look here for shopping because sometimes I just don't want to know all the details about why this works better than this. I just know that I'm shopping and I'm ready to buy one of these items. I saw it at a friend's place. I was at a festival. I didn't want to carry around these spices, so I'm looking for who has it locally. So I will click on shopping and a lot of people shop that way. Remember, this is the first place we would go when we want to know, go, do, or buy. So are you showing up in shopping? Because you can show up there 100% free. You do not, absolutely do not have to pay for shopping ads to show up here for free, but you do need to connect your content management system, your online shop with Google Merchant Center, which is free to do. You will also show up now in images. So some people are just image searching because you know what? I saw this item and it looked really good to me, but I don't know exactly who it's with or who it's from. So I took a quick picture of it and I'm looking for the image. I'm just looking for an image match. I wouldn't even know what to do if I saw the text description because I didn't really look hard at that. I just know, oh, that was a unique little bottle. I wanna go ahead and get something like that. So are your products already showing up in images? Even though you can show and upload product images into your Google business profile, it doesn't mean that it's showing up in Google images search, which a lot of people do use. So this is free connecting with Google Merchant Center and now you can show up in images 100% free. But Google Lens, that's what you've heard me getting so excited about here with Cynthia and I think who else was it? Ashley, I think you've used it too. So Cynthia and Ashley have used Google Lens. This is what I love. So if you're in the United States and this is only available to the United States, which should be everybody here in the boot camp, you can utilize Google Lens. It's an app that you have actually on your phone. So I have it here. It's easily gotten in the, the Google Play Store, no cost for it at all. And so let's say I am at that baby shower and I see a really cute photo album and I'm like, oh, that's so darling. I would love to give that to my friend. So I take a quick, I snap a quick picture of it in Google Lens. Google Lens will search for the image on Google and let me know not just where to get it from, but also some other options. And if your competitor or if they bought from your competitor and people see that, but they don't see you as an option, then you're not visible. They don't know you have that. And if people don't know that it exists with you, then they can't buy from you. So it's important to have this available. I love this too. I was working with a local photographer, actually not very local because I'm in Midland, Texas and Dallas, Texas is about 400 miles east of me. But here in Texas, I was working with a photographer and she does high-end photo albums and she just felt like Google Lens and Google Business Profile wasn't going to be for her. But I encouraged her and said, you know what? Just upload it there and put a price range. Yes, you may be the highest price point in the market, but do you want to make that decision for your prospective customers or do you want them to be able to have those options and decide if they just want to spend a little bit more if this is an extra special friend or somebody who just they really want to give something to okay give them that option and the decision don't make it for them so she went with me and I said just put your price range so if you feel more comfortable putting your price range because you don't want to deal with people who want a $9.99 department store or general store album you want people who are going to look at spending a little bit more money then do that so she did and she started showing up as people were going to baby showers. She showed up here and was able to show up in similar images and had people actually not just get the photo album, but also book baby sessions, newborn sessions, pre-baby sessions, all of these opportunities for her to now earn more business. So for a moment, just don't make that decision for your customers. Just know that if you're visible to them and your messaging is towards that best target audience that can give you the most pleasure and profit, then that will bring them and they can decide, okay? But you do have to match. Relevance is very important. So it's important for you to really understand who that best customer is and what information and pictures that they need to be able to make good decisions. Make sense? All right, was this an aha moment for anybody or is not excited about Google Lens? Because I get thrilled about Google Lens every time when I tell somebody and I hear, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. And then I see them getting business from it. So it's pretty cool. Awesome. Awesome. I'm glad it was helpful. Perfect. Anybody else? Uh -huh. <laughs> perfect, Robert. I love it. It's perfect. I couldn't have timed that any better. He just put a bit in cap, capitals, A-H-A, aha with an exclamation mark. Helpful. Perfect. All right. Does Google Lens connect to images? Yes. Yes, it does. Sure does. So you get a chance to be able to be seen there. So remember, whenever you're using Google Merchant Center, so Google Merchant Center is the connection hub. You will now be able to show up in Google Lens, Google Images, and Google Shopping tab. That's not the paid ads. So 100% for free by connecting to Google Merchant Center, which is also free, you will show up in Google Shopping tab, Google Images, 
and Google Lens. Make sense to everybody? Oh, perfect. Yes, visual shopping. I mean, come on, TikTok has told us anything. We're a highly visual country, right? Community. Okay, Brandy, you use Lens quite a bit. Well, this is a great place for then a lot of small businesses to also have the opportunity to be seen. It's all about visibility because if people don't know you exist, they can't do business with you. So the other part of Google Merchant Center is shopping ads. Now this is paid and I highly encourage you to wait on paying for anything until you use all the free tools and do be sure that you've got everything right. You know exactly who your target audience is because you know, we don't want to lose the cash flow that we need and spend it on things that are not truly being able to bring us the great return. And we want that great return from our shopping ads. So we really need to test out things first with our free services and then make sure that we are messaging for that best customer, right? So how Merchant Center works is you're going to create an account, you'll upload your products, and I'll show you how to do that next, and then you'll also show your products across Google. Google. So I'll take you through that step by step. So remember, if you want a copy of today's slides, a lot of people like to get the recording, and then they'll get a copy of today's slides because they use that as an outline to go step by step and start applying everything that they've learned here. So you'll go to g.co slash Merchant Center and create an account. Understand that if you already have a Gmail or a free Google account, so free personal Gmail, free Google account, you have all the credentials to be able to use this tool and you can utilize this tool. All you'll do is go to g.co slash Merchant Center. You'll hit sign in. It'll pick up your credentials if you're signed into the Google account you want to connect this with. And now you'll be ready to go. Once you do that, you can enter your business name. All right, and just make sure it's the business name that others do recognize you by. And then the big thing here, the most important thing is for you to put your country because only the USA has Google Lens available to them. So make sure you look at, it is set at USA. It should be by default, but sometimes it could be different. And then you look at your time zone. This is an important aspect of measuring your marketing. Remember, I told you that if you're not, if you're not measuring, you're not marketing $1 or one minute spent that's not lifting the bottom line or getting you closer to your goal is one dollar or one minute spent too much. So what you can do here in your measuring of your marketing is put the right time zone. So put your exact time zone. That way you know if people are shopping you at two o'clock in the afternoon or two o'clock in the morning. That can help you make some remarkable decisions. I was sharing with everyone in one of the boot camp sessions yesterday that a friend of mine knows that his best customers shop, they're women 34 to 54 years old, and they shop at 2.20 in the morning. So he doesn't even let his ads or his, any of his social posts that he's scheduled show up till about 2 o'clock, 2.10 in the morning. Because even though it's a dog product, and he can serve anybody who owns a dog, he doesn't want to miss that best customer and waste it on posting at 10 o'clock in the morning when they're not even looking online. They're too busy. So look at the time because now you can have some good business decisions that you make from the data that you're getting within Google Merchant Center. Make sense? I assume this will connect. Connect Lori with a Google Workspace. I mean, it could, you could use with pay, a paid workspace, but you don't have to. Your free personal Gmail account will connect. Any Google account, be it paid or not, will connect with Google Merchant Center. Okay, great question. So now you're going to go, as you go through Merchant Center, it'll walk you through, it's pretty intuitive, but you'll see that you can select where the customer checkout happens. Is it on your actual site? Do you have a site that can handle e-commerce? So there's a transaction, there's actually money exchange where they put their financial information in there. Are they going to check out on Google? So just know that Google recently launched out in beta test and it's about to go and roll out to everyone. In fact, it may have in some of the regions. We roll out things by region is check out on Google. They can check out directly on Google. Remember, the less clicks somebody has to make, the faster and easier it is for them to buy from you. So a lot of people are choosing for on Google. They're still servicing and shipping the product directly from their location and their site, but they want the checkout to happen on Google, making it instant for somebody who is shopping. So maybe you want that available to you. Plus, I encourage you, once you've connected Google Merchant Center, you will get little newsletters and updates of new availability, new services, new functions that you can use for free. I highly encourage you to click that on and I'll show you where you can do that because now you'll know, you'll be in the know, like right, for right now, you know, if you are already in the region where Google, buying on Google and paying on Google is already available, now you can use this or it could be at a local store. Maybe you have a storefront, maybe your product's over there at 
uh, Jane Ann's Boutique, right? And you've got it featured over there. So you want to do and show the checkout at a local store. You can do that as well. Now what you'll do is you'll provide additional information. Where, what tools are you going to actually have that they are going to go shop and shop on or pay at? You can also opt into the email and the terms of service are not optional. So you do have to agree to the terms of service, but here with the updates and best practices, I always click this on so I am in the know and I can say yes or no. That way you're not just surprised that, oh my gosh, I didn't know that you could buy on Google and shop on Google just paying for there. I didn't realize that was available. Now you're in the know. Then you're going to click create account. Once you do this, this is what happens to your actual merchant center. Just like any of the other Google tools, all the navigation happens on that left-hand side. Okay, so you'll see you have the opportunity to measure your marketing to see any dynamic remarketing or performance of your shopping ads if you have any ads. Plus, you can look at just the overall performance of any of your products that are showcased in the Merchant Center or any of the Merchant Center tools. So now what you need to do next is verify your business. Remember when I talked to you about the very beginning of the session, so of the boot camp, about the importance of connecting your, your Google tools. <clears throat> I'm sorry. A little frog in my throat there. But the Google tools all confirm with each other that you're a real business. And the reason Google's the number one search engine in the world is because of all those confirmations. Now you have the better opportunity to show up on the first page, those 10 organic search results, because Google is confident with your information. So if you start with Google Analytics first, which is a free tool that connects with your website or your content management system, now it makes it easier for you to verify your business in Merchant Center. In fact, I highly encourage people to start with Google Analytics first, because then it it makes connecting to any of the other free tools on Google a breeze because Google Analytics already knows that you're an actual viable business and now it just confirms that left and right. But you can also use Google Tag Manager. Understand you do have to be really good at Tag Manager in the next few months or actually before the end of the year and before June 2023 because Google Analytics for the next version of Google Analytics relies heavily on Tag Manager. Plus you get a lot of good insights about how people shop or even if they go off to shop your competitor's site, you get to see that or it could be that you need to add an HTML file to your website. So that's code that may be tracking that. A lot of the content management systems already have all of these connections in place and you just need to connect it and have your Google account open for that connection to be able to happen, okay? So now you're gonna add your products. Let me see, I see some questions here. I started reading a Google business profile, but tax professional tax preparation did not pull up. Want to try again? and my business did not pull up. What do I need to do? Pick the category, Sabrina, that is closest to you. So whatever is closest to what you have, choose that, and then after you've claimed your profile, now you'll have the opportunity to add nine subcategories, custom services. You'll be able to really tell the story of who you are and what you provide, okay? Brandy, does it connect to your point of sale and inventory on sites like Shopify? Yes, yes it does. So you can do that as well. All right, just depending on where you want them to land, I'll show you that in just a few minutes. Brandy, how do I keep my address and email offline? Oh, Charlotte, when you are um, in Google Business Profile, what you need to do, so I'm gonna, I'm thinking you're asking specific, specifically about Google Business Profile because I've thrown a lot of tool names to you. So I'm just gonna go with that Google Business Profile. All right, perfect. All you need to do is the fourth question you're asked when you start a Google Business Profile is yes, I want my address to show up or no, I do not. Click no, because the and it's worded funny, so I don't want to make it sound like it's just simple to see, but you'll see that fourth question come up. Yes, I want my address to show up and people to visit my location. No, I don't want my address to show up. I deliver products and services to my customer's location. That's the exact wording of each. Choose no, okay? Then you don't have to worry about that. Do not be deceived either, because once you've verified your business, it'll give you the opportunity to drop that pin in the map. Don't do it, because once you do that, now your address shows up. So just leave that part alone and choose service areas. And you can choose those by zip codes, cities, or counties, okay? So going back to the Google Merchant Center, great question though. Um, add your products, you can choose your products. You can choose to put them individually. So you're gonna manually put them in. You can put a whole bunch of products. Let's say that you have a hundred, a thousand different products. So a hundred different SKUs. SKUs are actual designators of what a product is. So it's like the inventory number. Or you might have a common combination of both. 
So an individual individual product, oh, sorry about that. Um, you can just add it here. You see, you choose the country. Remember to think of where the country is and what language you need to show that up in. And then if you do have any identifiers or tags and codes that you need to put in, you can put that here as well. So you're putting this all manually in. Or if you want to add multiple products, then you can utilize a spreadsheet to do that, right? So you can decide whether or not you want to do the one manual method or to be able to put multiple products in by spreadsheet. Now, when I say spreadsheet, you'll see this is how you can enter, and this is a step-by-step -step of how to do that. So it really does walk you through, but you see here that if you need a spreadsheet, Google has already created the spreadsheet in the format that you need. If you will click here under this first little bubble, you'll see learn more, you have the opportunity then to open up in another window that Google spreadsheet, which is, works just like Excel. In fact, if you don't know that already, every tool that you have within your Google account um, uh, Google Slides works just like PowerPoint, um, Google Docs works just like Word, Google um, Sheets works just like um, Excel. So those all have the same functionality and they're in your free personal Google account. So you don't have to have a paid workspace account, no additional license. And one of the tools that we use within Google Merchant Center is our already pre-laid out, pre-organized Google Sheet. So it will tell you what information you need to include in that Google Sheet and add there. And you can just link Google Merchant Center to that sheet and now it will upload everything there. So keep that in mind that that's nice and easy if you want to not have to worry about manually putting that in or paying somebody to put that in. So when you're looking at the Google Sheet, you'll see it and you click on that bubble there, it'll generate a new Google spreadsheet from a template. So that template is what's in Google Sheets. Or if you have an existing Google spreadsheet that you've already created and it does line up with all of the different columns and information that Google Merchant Center needs, then you're golden. But you can choose either or here. All right, and you can even create an update schedule. Let's say you add new products every Monday or once a month, then you can have this automatically happen. So that just helps you with not having to remember that I need to add everything. Now all of your products on your site or, or services on your site are now showing up within Google Merchant Center. All right, so now you're gonna click Create Feed. Once you do that, you see what the Google Sheet looks like. So you see, you'll need the product ID, you need the actual description, a link to that actual product, the condition. So if you put this already in the spreadsheet, then Google has everything that it needs to showcase you in all the different free tools that I was showing you earlier. Again, it could be that you wanna put a brand, it could be that you have an international identification number, the GTIN, so just look at what you need to put here and you'll fill this out completely. And what's nice about this sheet is it has instructions with it. So it'll walk you through exactly what you need and where some of the pitfalls are. So you already have some great guidance just within this sheet alone. Let's see, is there, is this where you had our friend create her photography services? Yes, exactly, it was here, but she did it manually because she didn't have that many products and services, so she wanted to do it manually. That's exactly what we did. I coached her through on what she needed to enter in and what information, so she did that within her Google Business Profile. She did that in Google, Google Merchant Center, so she would show up within Google Images and Google Shopping and Google Lens. Now remember, your products are now eligible. Once you've entered all these products here, all of them, even if there's thousands upon thousands, they are not eligible to use the Google Shopping tab, which is free, Shopping Ads, which is paid, Google Images, free, and Google Lens, free. But remember, this is just available in the United States, okay? Um, any other questions before we go on? Everybody feel comfortable with doing this? Good, hopefully so. If not, let me know in the question box because now I'm gonna talk about how you can connect your content management service there. Now, of course, Google partners with Shopify, which is one of the biggest content management services. I'm not here to sell you any Shopify at all. In fact, you can get a free trial, a 14-day trial with Shopify, and it costs you nothing. So no worries about that, but do know that what I'm teaching you today does link closely with any of the other content management systems. I just know that Google, as well as myself, because I, I, over, you know, I, I oversee a little over 20 plus um, shopping, actually Google Shopify stores or Shopify stores, I should say. Uh, but just let, letting you know that what you're going to learn today is a best practice that can connect you and be used in any of the tools because I do have a lot of friends that use WooCommerce or Squarespace. 
Yes, Lori, absolutely. You can definitely rewatch this and you're gonna get a copy of the recording and today's slides. If you put the number seven in the question box, you will get all of those in 24 hours, okay? So, and do know that it does take 24 hours and when you do get the link to do that, you have to log into it. So it's not gonna automatically show to you. You have to log in with your information because it's for you. You all who took the time and the effort to be here at the boot camp. So it's just verifying your identity and then you'll be able to go in and access it. Okay. So understanding Shopify, let's go in a little bit about using the content management system. So first of all, Shopify, it's one of the big dogs out there because it did grow even before pandemic, but then even afterwards you could see in March, 2020, everybody started to go on Shopify because it just made it easier. Some of you use Etsy, some of you use Squarespace, some of you use WooCommerce. Know that Etsy is like Amazon it is a closed system so it has its own ins insights and you cannot connect some of these tools to Etsy just because like with Amazon it's the same thing I love Amazon I actually have a lot of stores on Amazon but I also know that you your product your customer contact information all of the data about them anything or even the reason why they return something is blind to you because Amazon keeps all of that so you have no access to your customer information so I do try to encourage customers even from Amazon and little QR codes and things that we put in the product boxes to say come over here get your warranty or take this picture and be a part of our reward system and get you know ten dollars off of your next product if you come put your information and in. it gives you a chance to learn more about that actual customer so those are some creative things that you can do if you are selling on let's say Amazon or Etsy and then you also have your own store try to encourage them so you have your customers contact information you'll see how many people are utilizing Shopify and we do know that it makes it a lot easier but the caution that I explained yesterday in the session of make your website work for you is that Shopify can be beautiful and has many wonderful themes, but do understand that some of these themes take 3.8 seconds to load, 3.8, and understand that on a mobile device, that if your site doesn't load in four seconds or less, you'll lose over half. 53% of your traffic. And for every second over, you'll lose another 10%. So you could be at the gotten the most beautiful theme but if you at 3.8 seconds it takes that theme to load without you already adding photos or videos so all of that's going to slow it down why would you use that theme especially if you're in the e-commerce business where you know you have to load in four seconds or less so again take a look at the themes while they're beautiful make sure it makes sense for your business remember what the goal is in mind the end goal do that for any of your content management systems and of course i told you about the free trial so you have that available to you It'll ask you a little bit about yourself. Again, Shopify is pulling from its AI, its artificial intelligence, and all the experience they have in this industry. So it's pulling all of that information, trying to give you the best resources and the best suggestions. But again, I say, take that with caution. You know your best customers better than anything else, but once you do that, now you'll get to this dashboard. Again, navigation, just like Google, happens on the left-hand side. But the reason I say take it with caution, because industry standards are just the baseline of analytics and data. You really need to know and understand your customers and your product or service. So I was working with my friend who has a dog product. Now he happens to have a high-end dog product. It cost a couple of hundred dollars. So even though he can utilize AI to tell him about the pet industry, this is not litter, this is not dog food, this is not supplements who may run anywhere from 50 to 60 bucks, this is a $200 product and because of that price point, he is not going to be able to take advantage of the AI of consumable pet products. That's a much different price point. So know your business and know who your best customer is. You need that for any of your marketing or else you're just going to be spending tremendous time, energy and money. One of the things that I encourage people to do is find out exactly what they want to use and put a system towards it so it will apply to any content management system. So system, just so you know, is truly an acronym. I'm all about acronyms. You heard me talk about that with SMART goals, that they have to be specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and timely. You need a SMART test to all your goals. But system stands for save yourself significant time, energy, and money. Because anytime you have to create this on the fly or recreate it, you have emotion and it takes time and you shift gears when you could be going to get more customers, growing your business, or servicing your customers. Now, when you add products in Shopify, this is what it looks like. So you go add the products, and they can be physical or digital. So remember, it doesn't have to just be product-based, actually a hard product that you're holding on to. It could be a digital product. You're going to build in, it has built-in inventory tracking, but you're going to put your numbers in. And I showed you that the same spreadsheet that you use with Google Merchant Center, you can utilize here with your actual Shopify account, your Shopify store. 
you have the opportunity to put all those great descriptions in. Remember, know those words that the customers are using. If you don't have any customers, go read your competitors' reviews because those that's a hint in telling you what words they're using or use Google Trends, g.co slash trends, T-R-E-N-D-S. That will also let you know what people are searching and what words they're using around your product, service, or solution. That is also a free tool. And you can put the words here so that for, therefore you are matching Number one, and the most important pillar in Google's algorithm, the relevancy that people are searching for. Now, when you connect your actual content management system, specifically your Shopify store with Google, what happens is you'll go to sales channel. And while this is all whited out, because truly it is Google here with you today, I'm not blind to know that there's other tools. I'm a marketing coach, so I know that right up here, it will say Facebook and Instagram. Sometimes people put TikTok as a sales channel in their TikTok shop. It could be that you have a Pinterest shop. So maybe you've got that connected too. It could be that you have SMS, so attentive. So it could be a, an attentive SMS shop. You have all of this available to you, but right now you'll see Google's in there too. So you'll just click the plus sign if you wanna add that sales channel and be able to connect your merchant center with your actual content management system or your Shopify store or whichever e-commerce tool that you use. When you set this up, it will let you know what information is now going to be accessible and viewable to Google. You are in charge of your own data, so you decide what the details are that you want, and now you will add that sales channel. Once you add that sales channel now, it will connect to your Google account. That's why I was mentioning, you wanna be logged into the Gmail or the free Google account that you have access to that is connected to all of your business. So be in there and you'll connect it to the Google account. It'll see that your credentials are open. It will connect that way. And now you will confirm your store's requirements. So this is what has to be available for you to be able to connect the two. All right, you need to have a valid payment center. When I say Google Merchant Center basic requirements, you do have to have a payment method because if people can't pay for your product and they can't use their card or let's say their Klarna or their um, Shop Pay or their Google Pay um, or Apple Pay on your site, then that's something that's going to become a problem. So they need you, they need to be able to get to pay you. You need to be able to have a place for them to spend the money with you. You also have to have all of this in place, okay? A refund policy in terms of service. You have to have your contact information. So that's your phone number, your address, and your actual email address. So that's why a lot of people will get email addresses that say help or support because they don't want to give their actual email address and have their inbox flooded. So you have all of that, but remember, all of this is not just, this isn't something that you choose two out of three. All of this has to be completed in order for you to be able to connect your content management system with Google Merchant Center. Once you do that, now you're gonna get started in syncing your product feed. So it'll walk you through what you're gonna do next. After you've been accepted that way, it knows that you have all of those requirements. You're gonna set up your first shopping campaign if you want. If you don't want to, don't worry about it. A shopping campaign is a paid ad. So do not worry about having to deal with a paid ad right now. Just get all of this set up, but it is available to you if you want to use it there. It is in Google Merchant Center. You can also set up your target market here so it will deliver and show more to people who are more likely to buy from you than just the general public. Again, some people like to use this like my friend, but some also like my photographer that I'm working with wants to just keep it open because she is still measuring in her Google Analytics who her best customer is and where they're located at and finding a little bit more demographics and psychographics about them, what device they're using. And she's using analytics to really become an expert in her customer. And now that all these products are eligible, you can connect your Google Ads account. So if you've got Google Ads account, even if you're not running ads, you're just using the free keyword planner in there because it's Google and it's keeping up to date on exactly what are the most popular keywords. So there are a lot of keyword tools out there, but Google's free keyword planner is great. And then you can connect all this together and you can confirm all to Google that you are a viable business. You really have products, you really have services, you really take care of customers, people can really buy from you. And now that encourages Google, to send signals to the algorithm to show you up higher in the 10 organic search results, the first page of a search result. And if you do wanna do actual ads, now using paid ads like Google ads or shopping ads, you can set a budget and get started. So remember, the big thing here from today is, not just today, I should say the entire a boot camp because we're winding up the the you know our local business boot camp boot camp and you guys have been through so much 
And the big key here is you've learned a lot of information and I hope it's been helpful and it's been inspiring and it's been aha moments, but I also more than that, hope it's given you some tools and really gotten those gears turning about how you can apply. And I'd love to know what you've actually added to your to-do list to be able to get done because that's to me so important. I see many small businesses and because I've been in the trenches for you know at least a couple of decades, I see many who spend a lot of time learning about things, but only a fraction, less than 2% that actually apply what they learn. So I see some people who are perpetual students and they think knowledge is power, but knowledge is not powerful until it's applied. So one of the ways you can check your actual application and see if your store is working, let's say you were like everybody else in 2020, you threw up your store just like that because heck, the word ch world changed, right? So now take a look at this. Go to g.co slash grow my store. It's a 100% free tool and it will let you know what you need to amp up what you need to change, what is keeping you from showing up in the first page of Google search for your store, what needs to be fixed, what's confusing, what you're doing wonderful at. So just put in your URL here and you can use this for free. I love Grow My Store. You can also use Local Opportunity Finder. This is a free tool, g.co slash local opportunity finder. There we go. Couldn't see that past my camera stand. And what you can do here is you can see exactly locally what's happening and where you might have opportunity. Let's say you're thinking about expanding even to selling more in Oklahoma or in New Mexico or Texas. So let's say you're expanding there and you wanna see if opportunities there. There's another tool also that, it, that I use quite a bit, which is the Global Market Finder. And we do a whole other session on that, but I can, I might be able to show you a bit in the end. Now we're about six minutes away, so I might not be able to, but it's Global Opportunity Finder. And I actually use that directly with people that I'm working with to find where the best opportunity is for the product or industry if they'd like to export and do business globally. And that's why I say I'm inter in international e-commerce because we started here in the United States and now we actually have Shopify stores and warehouses in um, Canada, in Australia and in the UK. And we're looking to expand to Germany next because of the global market finder and where you can get the better shipment and everything because of course we're all having shipment issues now in this kind of business in environment, okay? So you can use this, this is free. And then of course, you've heard me talk about this before in our other sessions. If you want to take advantage of the free scholarships that Google provides to you, in fact, there's a free scholarship for the digital marketing and e-commerce course. If you are a small business with an EIN number, so that's an employer identification number, you can provide this to you yourself and your entire team, up to 100 people on your team, you can provide this to 100% free Google will scholarship you but that is only available till 2023. So take advantage of that and go to this URL and I'll move my pointer out of the way in case you wanna screenshot that and go to that before you get a copy of all this 24 hours from now, okay? All right. Of course, we have Google on air every quarter. We cover exactly what the top topic is or the top concern is with small businesses, but do get with your Google partner because your Google partner will actually let you know when Google on air is available or when they're bringing me back or when we're gonna do another boot camp, or when we'll do the second half of boot camp, or whether we're just gonna just you, just all of us, maybe just themselves and myself. So, okay, they'll, they'll let you know what the opportunity is. And these are your local Google partners. I wanna say bravo and thanks the Google partners did so much work and making sure that you guys knew this is available and making sure that everything was set up for them to provide the information that they needed and that you needed. They really looked and listened to you on what you needed and then came to Google with, hey, we need a boot camp about this. So thank you to every single one of our Google partners here. We are at the end of this business boot camp, this section of business boot camp. And I do want to say thank you to everybody for being here. Again, share with me. I'd love to hear exactly what it is that you're going to do and apply. Now to preserve your privacy, I'm going to stop.